at the Human Flourishing Program at Harvard, we think of flourishing as um, living in a state in which all aspects of a person's life are good. Um, that's very broad, all-encompassing, and so we try to focus on some of the major aspects of human life that almost everyone um, seems to be seeking and um, that they seek for their own sake. And we would say that flourishing is, is again, a rich, all-encompassing concept, but whatever else flourishing might include, it would, it would probably include the five following domains of, of human life as well, and those are happiness and life satisfaction, physical and mental health, meaning and purpose, character and virtue, and close social relationships. Not that flourishing is reducible uh, to those five, but pretty much everyone is seeking those five. So we can try to attain some consensus around um, what to seek together and even what to, to, to measure around those five domains. Some of our work has also therefore looked at what are some of the major contributors to human flourishing. And if we approach this question through the lens of, of my own discipline of, of public health, often we think of the public health impact of something as a function of two things. How common is it in the population and how large are its effects on the outcomes that we care about? If we use that lens for something like physical health, we're led to things like um, physical activity and getting enough sleep and, and not smoking and, and, and good nutrition. Um, but if we use that same lens asking what's common and what has large effects on the outcomes we care about, not just physical health, but also happiness and mental health and meaning and character and, and relationships, uh, the list looks rather different. Uh, based on a review of the literature of the more rigorous um, studies, uh, we've identified four major communal pathways to human flourishing. Um, and those are work, education, family, and religious community. There's evidence from uh, rigorous studies that these first are all quite common in the population, um, but also have large effects across the different flourishing domains, effects on happiness, health, meaning, character, uh, and relationships. And so if we were to invest individually and as a society in supporting things like work, education, family life, and religious community, our individual and communal well-being um, would, would go up. There's a lot more that contributes to, to a flourishing life than just those things, but I think that really is a good place to start on those communal institutional pathways to human well-being.